All right. Well, we want to continue to highlight the arts that are happening in our community as it's been tough for so many, especially if you are a musician. And we have one of our favorites joining us this morning, Tony Bowen Camp, who is here to talk about the great things that are happening with DSM TV live. And Tony, great to have you with uh, Lou and I this morning live virtually <laughs> as uh, that's kind of the Good platform. Good to be back with you. Yeah, that's kind of the platform we're all living in right now. So talk about yeah. how DSM TV live is coming back with uh, another way of you guys performing live every Wednesday and then helping out other artists along the way as well. Sure. Well, um, we had, for some people that may have seen it, we had our quote-unquote season one um, starting March 17th and, and it carried through July with our like Wednesday night dueling piano shows and stuff. And, you know, as we saw that there was going to probably be another pandemic surge and... Um, people weren't going to be hanging out outdoors so much. And we had all these other friends of ours that were musicians looking for gigs. We decided to, to go for season two and we talked to a bunch of different bands and, um, the ones that were able to make the schedule work because season one, we basically came in every single day into the studio when there was a show and <clears throat> all of us, uh, had some interesting conversations with our spouses about how often we were gone and <laughs> all of those things. And so um, we decided to pack 10 shows into a week of filming out at the Palace Theater at Adventureland. And so uh, Jerry Lawrenson, who I believe you're talking to tomorrow, um, put together a schedule uh, over the course of four days, uh, Monday through or Tuesday through Friday. And we got 10 bands in there and multi-track full light show um seven different cameras recorded all seven of these bands and then john locker and brad seidenfeld who are the other two more important parts of dsm tv live edited the video and mixed the recording and put everything together and so now on either friday or saturday starting two weeks ago all the way through the end of february we've got one of those shows planned and then jerry and i do our virtual dueling pianos every wednesday night from 9 to 11. All right, so these shows are basically concerts, full-blown concerts, but just no audience that is there. But you get Correct. the full concert experience, right? That is exactly right. Yep, we, we try to make it as close to a full concert as we can, obviously, without having an audience. Um, but, you know, smoke machines, lights, big, fat guitars and drums, and, you know, like I said, multi-track mixing. Everything sounds and looks incredible. Um, and so we're really trying to just put on the highest quality of, of show that we can because we're asking people to buy tickets to these shows, which is different from season one. Um, but we found that after a while, if we did it, at, you know, donations only that a lot of people are, are having the same problems we are right now. They're out of work or they're working less or something like that. And so, you know, people eventually, I think, just weren't able to give as much as they either wanted to or you know they're like okay this has been enough blah 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 and so this year we're actually selling tickets the first two shows have been awesome and uh damon dotson is this weekend and he's uh, i mean i i'm super excited to see how many tickets he sells but yeah it's just trying to do the same thing we did in season one a little bit more organized and a little more smart um, for everybody involved. T gonna... Tony, I want to talk to you about uh, what you've been working on, uh, a project called White Elephant uh, as well. Oh, yeah. uh, talk about what you've been working on, and then we can go into why it's so important that we continue to support live virtual music in the way that DSM TV Live is doing. Sure. So I went to Iowa State, and a buddy of mine up there named Corey Moss has since moved out to L.A. and done incredible things working with a lot of different people, and he started his own production company. And so he wrote this movie called White Elephant, which is about four couples that get together every year to celebrate. Everybody knows what White Elephant gift exchanges are um, to do that. And, of course, this year there's drama and tension and all of that stuff. But... Um, he asked me to score the, the film and um, write all the music for it. And so I wrote two original songs and I did treatments of four other Christmas carols. And then I did like all the background music and stuff for, you know, like going around the tree. There's lots of sleigh bells. I will just warn everyone if you don't <laughs> like sleigh bells, there are sleigh bells all over this movie. Um, but that's I suppose to be expected with a, with a holiday movie. But um, yeah, it was incredible. I just... 
you know, I have a full orchestra built into my computer down in my office. And so I'm doing like strings and trumpets and horns and big percussion sections and stuff and down there in my robe. And then my stepdaughter, Violet, comes down and can't get on a Zoom call. So I have to leave my orchestra and come back up and get her situated on her classes and all that stuff. And so um, it's nice not having to go into a full studio with a hundred piece orchestra. Um, I can just do everything downstairs. And right. it's Tony, my tell favorite us, thing to do. Tony, <laughs> tell us about the, uh, the piano bar. Yeah, we want to hear you tonight. What's going on? Yeah. So every Wednesday, Jerry Lawrenson and I, um, Piano Palooza, we're called. We do a virtual piano bar from 9 to 11. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, we take requests. We have somebody in studio with us that uh, looks at all of the requests that come in over either YouTube or Facebook. And um, we have Venmo set up and PayPal so people can request songs that way with tips if they want to. But yeah, it's just kind of a way to have a night out at the bar during the week. Um, in an age where you can't really go out to a bar, you don't necessarily feel safe or, or whatever. So it's a way to bring some entertainment into people's homes. Um, I will warn everyone, the first hour from 9 to 10 is usually pretty clean. But after 10, we figure most of the kids are in bed, so we skew a little more to the adult <laughs> side of things. Um, so I just want everyone that might tune in to warn, because we had a few people after we did another, we did an interview with the register, I think, and they're like, I was not expecting this. This is filthy. I'm like, well, uh, here's the deal. This is a piano <laughs> right. bar and so People want more information on there this, Tony. Go. Easiest Love place it. to get all the information we just talked about. Where should, where should they go? ESMTVlive.com. All right, just that simple. Boom. You can Perfect. find him on Facebook. You can find him on YouTube. And we will get more into those concert passes uh, tomorrow, specifically uh, for the concert of Damon Dotson coming up. Tony, always great to see you. Thank you for everything you are doing for our musicians out there and supporting live music. Uh, well, please. Oh. And thank you for everything that you guys are doing for the community and people like me that are looking for work and need to reach out to people. So you guys are doing a great thing, obviously. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Tony. We'll Appreciate talk to you later, you. man. DSMTVlive.com. Right, bye. Bye-bye. All right. Don't go anywhere.